एस जयशंकर टूडे विजिट टू रशिया अ बिग मोमेंट ऑल आईज ऑन इंडिया स्टैंड ऑन द रशिया यूक्रेन वॉर Besides generating a humanitarian crisis, the Russia-Ukraine war has also put the foreign policies of the countries in the spotlight. While some countries have completely shifted their defense and energy policies to reprimand Russia, India has consistently maintained a balanced approach. The bigger question though, can India initiate peace talks between the two war-torn nations? Can India play the mediator and how will it impact india's stature on the world stage we decode in july when a critical deal was negotiated by the united nations to free up millions of pounds of desperately needed ukrainian grain india played an important behind the scenes role in helping sell the plan to russia which had been blockading the grain ships Two months later in September when the Russian forces were shelling a nuclear plant in Ukraine leaving the world anxious about a nuclear catastrophe India stepped in again and asked Russia to back off throughout the Ukraine war India has quietly assisted during a few pivotal moments such as these India's foreign minister S Jayashankar traveled to Moscow for meetings with Russian officials on economic and political issues Officials within the Indian government have already been discussing what role India might play in the peacemaking efforts when the time is right. Russia and Ukraine are far from negotiating with each other. Ukraine feels it has momentum on the battlefield and is in no mood to talk and Russia is hardly relenting either. But the widespread belief is that if the fighting reaches a dead end, the prospect of a negotiated settlement may probably arise. that could open up a role for a neutral country like india or some small group of them to try to initiate peace earlier this year president emmanuel macron of france floated the idea of hosting peace talks along with india's leader narendra modi this showed that india is increasingly viewed as a potential peacemaker with access to both the sides but the ukraine crisis and the escalating tensions between russia and the west are testing india's act India continues to buy Russian oil which angers Ukraine and the United States and India has refused to support resolutions at the United Nations that have condemned Russia's aggression. While India has received pressure from the West, Indian officials maintained that calling out Russia would achieve very little while staying neutral at least in public could come in handy in efforts to end the war. So while India has refrained from directly criticizing Russia, It has expressed concern about the violence and suffering the invasion has caused. At a regional summit in Uzbekistan in September 2022, Modi said the whole world was paying the price and told Putin today's era is not a war. Aaj ka yug yuddha ka hai nahi. He said he wanted to discuss how we can move forward on the path of peace. Peacemaking could carve a more prominent place for India in the global order and possibly bring it closer to a long sought prize of a fairer power distribution that is a permanent seat on the UN Security Council and trying to solve the world's biggest crisis seems to have appealed to Narendra Modi's ambitions to go down in history as one of India's greatest leaders